when we think about a plane in architecture, we're starting to think about very tangible aspects of every building we are in. Um, the most basic uh, planes are, in fact, you can have horizontal planes, uh, like floors. You can add to that walls, which are um, vertical planes. You can add a couple of those and start to enclose space. So now we have a space that you can walk into, but then you have to come back out the same direction. Now we can close that off entirely, and now you have a room, essentially. Um, now we can poke openings in those planes, but you don't lose the integrity of the plane. You still have a very strong sense of this is a wall with a hole in it, or a window or a door. But the plane doesn't go away, so it, it has a form already, um, implicit. Um, you can even turn these into columns, back to when we were talking about lines in parallel being planes. It could provide the same uh, function, essentially, to, to give the suggestion of an enclosed space uh, without actually being a solid space. After that, you can have a horizontal plane again, just right at the top to enclose this. And that's when you have roofs or ceilings. So architecture uses these three kinds of walls extensively, or these three kinds of planes. Um, but they really stem from the basic idea of lines being swept in some direction. Now, you'll care about the angle of these. Like, let's say uh, you want this roof instead of being horizontal, to be sloped because uh, you're somewhere in the world where rain falls and you need that rain to slide off. Uh, now let's say you're somewhere where it's snowing and you need an even more sloped roof, well then, those are still two planes. But um, it's all about, so you have ideas of angle, you have ideas of orientation, uh, you have the texture, is it a glass plane? Does it give the, the um, impression of void space or open space? So do you have this? Or do you have simply a cube? And these are very different ideas, but they're both planes. Um, and this depends on material. Say this is a concrete cube. And this is a glass cube. What does it feel like to be in a structure that's completely made out of glass versus one that's completely um, surrounded by concrete? 